What is up everybody, Dak here, and today I'm going to test to see how loud the Bose subwoofer is in this Mazda 3 SB25. In order to test the system, I'm going to do it two different ways. The first way is I'm going to leave the interior trim all intact, seats up, everything, and I'm just going to play some music and see what kind of numbers I get on that, which is probably the way a beginner to SPL would do it. They'd find a song with pretty heavy bass that sounds quite loud, I give it a run and see how it goes. The second one I'm going to do is I'm going to run some sweeps to find where the car peaks. I'm going to remove this carpet here, put the seats down, everything, take the cover off where the sub, the sub fits into the spare tyre. And I'm going to have the car as open and as optimised for SPL as possible. I'm also going to leave this door open as it should do some kind of cross loading here where it'll be a bit louder there. And just to be clear, the SPL sensor is in the standard spot, which is roughly one foot in from the side and four inches up from the bottom, or 30 centimeters and 10 centimeters respectively. Now just a quick explanation of how uh, dB is measured in cars also, is it's measured in dB SPL or dB C weighted, whereas usual SPL, handheld SPL meters measure in dBA, DB SPL is different as instead of measuring based off how loud things sound to the human ear, it measures based off the pressure delta of the wave. So the way sound works in general is you start off with one bar, one atmosphere. What happens is the pressure is increased by a speaker moving out, pressurizing the area in front of it slightly, and then it's decreased by the cone moving backward. So it goes slightly above one bar, slightly below one bar, and it's only really slightly. So, it's just like a tremor on a graph almost. Now, you're about to see that it's 90 dB in this car, just at idle. And the reason why it's 90 dB and it doesn't sound insanely loud is because it's at low frequencies. And low frequencies don't harm the human ear as much as high frequencies. So if a dB SPL meter, or if a dB meter, handheld dBA meter was in here, it would measure more realistically around a 40, 50 dB mark. So this is not dangerous for hearing, it's all good. In fact, these speakers are more dangerous than the sub, even though the sub is what's going to be measured by that thing. The loudest thing that's going to be measured by that is the bass. That's another reason why 5 Hz shows up often as the loudest frequency, because the slowest change can be the biggest. It's a bit like if you move your hands slowly, you can cover a great distance but if you move it quickly you can only cover a much shorter distance so that's kind of a basic explanation of how SPL works all right I'm now going to use the SSA APMX in order to measure using this program right here or app uh, you can see right now that the peak is at 6 Hertz as I mentioned before um, because it's easiest to change great great distances slowly um, that's why 5 Hertz picks up the biggest SPL numbers and there's just some ripple where you see the 40 and 60 could be from my voice and other things like that but now I'm just going to turn up pendulum immersion immunize just for the CD for this one and I'll only turn it up for a second too just in case I get some copyright strike more likely a copyright claim Alright, you can see that I peaked just then at 116.23 dB at 52 Hz. So that's just kind of a rough number that you could probably expect if you're just playing it for some mates and don't really know how to optimize a car for SPL. But I'm now going to take everything out and see how loud I can get it. Alright, now you can see that I've taken the uh, carpet off the dash. The back seats are clear and the things that are on them I've tucked down behind the seats. The boot false floor, the parcel shelf is off, and the sub has been rotated. You can see the logo there, Bose, is backward. And you can see that the port's coming out the back now. As just in general, it's good to have the port as far away from the microphone sensor as possible. So if it's facing this way, I'm not actually going to take the sub out and place it in the corner. I'm just going to leave it where it is. I'm also just going to leave the back seats up right now as I'm kind of hoping for some sort of loading over them, but I will try it with the back seats down later on. I'll also, I might even undo the sub and place it in the corner to see what happens with the false floor back in. I'll also have the alternator running for this test uh, just to get a bit better voltage and hopefully get a bit better output because of it. So now we're going to test tones. These tones are made using capacity. 
the sweeps are one of my mate's friends, shout out to Kuma. Um, do this one, put it on loop. I'm going to turn the volume down here as I don't want to blow up the sub with 16 hertz if it doesn't have a subsonic filter. Uh, peaking at 56 hertz with the door open. Interesting. Uh, Alright, let's see the closest one. I've got a 56, 55, which is note A1. Now, something I'll note is um, the app seems to be having some connectivity issues. Uh, whenever it drops out, I lose the footage. So that's why right now I'm using just the regular recorder instead of using the app. Right, you got 55 hertz going. Right, there you can see I managed to get uh, 120.26, I believe the last one I got was 117, so there you go, 3 dB. Now I'll try 46 Hz also, as uh, it seems to be peaking around there before. Oh, had a bit of clipping then. Yep, not quite as loud. Alright, there you go. Right, I'm now going to try putting the back seats down and I'll move the sub and see what difference that makes. Alright, you can see now that I've got the car right open and there's the sub right down the back there in the corner, opposite corner to the meter. I've also decided to put this car, this chair, <laughs> I've also decided to put this chair down uh, backwards instead of forwards this time as I'm expecting it to peak at a higher frequency anyway, just due to the rear seats being down. So I'm just preparing it for that. I'm going to be leaving the door open once again, but due to the frequency being a bit higher, I'll probably I'll, I'll try I'll try it closed this time. There's kind of a bandwidth to where leaving the door open helps. It's usually from around cabin resonance down, which would more likely be around 40 hertz for this car. So I probably could have just left the door closed for that last test but we'll see how we go I'll do all the sign slips again just to see if it's changed the peak at all Right, the peak now seems to be at 153 hertz, so I'll try 53 hertz. Come down here, see the closest one I've got. These are all notes, by the way. Right, 51.91, I'll try. Alright, I'll try revving it to see if I can get some more voltage from the alternator. Probably not much. Actually, I don't think that'll really accomplish anything. <laughs> that only really does something for high-powered systems. But this one's probably 100 watts max, so... And I'll, I'll try... I'll try 55 again to see what happens. Yeah. And 49, just to see if the peak's actually at the side of that frequency. No, that's it. All right, interesting. I'll open the door again. Although there is a bit of a breeze which may hamper results, but I can't really avoid weather. Fifty-two again. Not quite. Fifty-five. Got really close to 55. Yeah, that's really close to 55, and I'll try 58 because of how close 55 was. No, 
Nah. You can see too that this sub, because it's designed for new peak. Yep, there we go. <laughs> because it's designed for um, sound quality in the Bose setup, it's probably not going to get enormous numbers at any one peak. I'm kind of glad to see that it didn't change a lot across those few results. Um, but yeah, that's how loud the sub is, 116 dB in a kind of standard listening to music scenario and 120 dB in an optimized setup. Uh, if you enjoyed and thought this video was interesting, um, then feel free to leave a like. If you want to pick up one of those, they are fairly expensive at 400 US dollars, so it's probably not going to be a case of, oh, I wonder how loud my car is, I'll buy this. Chances are, for a lot of people, that's more expensive than your sub. So, <laughs> only really get that if you're really interested to see how loud your sub is, or you've got lots of subs you want to see. Maybe a group, in, group of friends, if all of you have subs, you could probably just chip in together, maybe like 50 bucks each for the eight of you, um, to get one of them because that's a really cool device and you can see right now it's got an app and everything to record the numbers um so yeah I'm, I'm loving it i'm loving doing testing with that thing right now yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video subscribe for more similar content see ya